Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and check out my content. I hope you decide to stick around. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the Soul Squad. And also don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified every time I upload. And let's get into today's video. What's up Soul Squad? For today's video I am going to be sharing a paranormal story time with you guys but I also want to update you on some things really quick because the last video that I uploaded some people were able to see some people weren't and supposedly that was fixed but I was going to re-upload the video and it's still doing something a little odd so I'm just going to kind of update you guys on a few things really quick before I get into the paranormal story time. So the first thing I wanted to update you guys on was the documentary. We did go and film the documentary and I did get some pictures and some minimal footage there. I didn't quite realize that it was going to be so um, fast paced because the second we were getting out of the car we were already being mic'd up and ready to go. So I didn't have much time to do anything on my own but I'll definitely let you guys know what channel and when to watch that for sure. Definitely follow me on my social media if you don't already and that's just at paranormal one on Instagram and Twitter and you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash paranormal so that way you can just kind of keep up with things because I update on that usually daily and I talk to you guys daily there and I just wanted to throw that out there. I will do a little teaser video of any of the pictures and maybe a little bit of the footage I got there because there was some crazy things that happened but I don't want to spoil too much for those of you that are going to watch the documentary. But I just wanted to update you guys on that. That's what happened with that. I didn't get to do much filming there but everything was really cool and I'm really excited for you guys to see the documentary. Dean was mic'd up as well and he did awesome so I'm excited for you guys to see him as well. He was a little iffy about being mic'd up and everything, but he went with it and he did an awesome job. So I just wanted to fill you guys in on that. It's going to be an awesome documentary and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. So that's the first update. Um, another update that I was going to do for you guys was besides the fact that we have moved from the other house and we're living here while we're having another house built eventually up on the same property. But the paranormal story time is to do with the house that we were living in and that's all in our book and everything. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because that's what the paranormal story time is going to be about. But real quick, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have an agent now. So I'll be booked with a lot more things and I'll get to do more, which I'll get to show you guys more and take you guys along with me more. Um, there's a lot more going to happen with that because it's not just for um, like this channel or anything. The agent's more for my events elsewhere so that means I'll just vlog everything that comes up with that. Um, that's another update I wanted to do because I'm working with the Reef Agency now and I have my own agent through them. Um, they're based out of Canada but they're sponsoring me and working with me and doing all my things here in the US so that's something really cool that's happened. I'm trying to think of everything to update you guys on really fast just in this video because I don't want it to be too long because I also have to do the paranormal story time but I just wanted to share that with you guys and I'll share everything else as it comes along because we have so much happening right now and I'm just a little like all over the place today because I can't think of everything I need to update you guys on because there's so much and I want this to be the paranormal story time video. So with that being said, I told you guys that we have moved from the other house and I wanted to explain a little bit about that. Um, now this is kind of going to go along with the mental health side of things but at the other house I was really struggling and there was still negative energy there especially from those that have read my book you know what I'm talking about and things started to get a little crazy at the house again and we realized that it was not a good place for me to be mentally um, because if you've read the book you know that something preyed on my dad and he was dealing with mental health issues as well and I just started getting really 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 overwhelmed at that location and it just was not good for someone that is suffering through mental issues, you know, like mental health issues and struggling with things from like PTSD and things of that nature. And it was the house that my dad's tragedy took place and then the demonic entity stayed and everything just started starting back up and it just was not a good place for me to be. So we've moved into this location, like I said, and later on when we get some things settled and we feel more comfortable with the property, we can get things 
cleared because I do think something is on the property completely but I do hope to build a house on that property later on when I feel that things are in a better state because we're going to work on things up there whenever um, things get a little better for me and I feel like going back up there and trying to rid what's there we've got plenty of people that we've got on our side going to help us get rid of whatever is up there so that'll be good whenever we want to the property's still there um but i just don't have to live in the same place and relive through horrible memories and whatever negatives there we're going to get rid of before i ever try to you know live on that property again but i will update you guys real quick on this as well like as soon as we left that property my mental health has already improved tremendously so that just backs up the statement even more that it was not a good place for me to be um so we are going to maybe investigate up there for you guys later on and like i said we're going to work on ridding whatever's there but just right after we moved everything got so much better for me so i just want to throw that out there before i tell you what happened our very last day at the house now we started moving very rapidly because we just wanted to get out of there and the very last day we were there we had most of the things moved to the new house, but um, the water was not going to be fixed until the next day. So we went back up to the house where we were living, where everything took place in my book, where my dad used to live, you know, the house that I grew up in. And we were just taking showers and doing anything we needed to do there because the water at our new house was not going to be turned on until the next day. So we went up to the old house and was taking showers and everything and I was in one bathroom and Dean and my son were in the other bathroom and they were just getting things ready and all of a sudden when I was in the shower there was this huge black mass now I don't know how to explain this really all I can tell you is this huge black mass came and it was like I don't know just charging at me and it came through the wall now I physically saw this I hadn't had anything really happen too vividly like visually I've had really bad feelings there and we've had things move or you know be misplaced things of that nature we've heard things but I have not seen anything especially of this like vividness there in a very long time so this big dark mass charged at me through the wall like the door was on the side across from where the shower was and all of a sudden I was about to get out of the shower so the curtain was drawn and this big dark mass came through the wall like through the door area and just came right at me and right when it got like right it, it disappeared i don't know how to explain this to you guys all i know is it absolutely terrified me but the second this happened this is what is another creepy aspect of this story is because the second this happened dean started yelling from the other room that we needed to get out of there now what i envisioned is that he had saw whatever this was from the other side of the wall but he had had his own things happening in the other side of the house. For instance, they saw something move, like um, some of the things we had prepared to bring to this house moved from one spot to another. The water in the bathroom that they were in, like each time both of them took a shower, the water was going on and off, but it was staying steady where I was at. And it's all in the wa same water system there. So I don't know, that was something that just terrified me to the core and I've done this I don't know how many years I've experienced some of the worst you can experience but just the negativity and the overall feeling of what happened that was just you know the very final like clarification that we needed to be out of there if that makes sense but as we were going down the road okay this crazy thing happens we're ready to get out like we just hurried and got ready and ran out and that was the last time we ever had to be there you know we had just taken our things up there to take showers and come back so we just got our other things out of the house and ran got into the truck and we were going down the hill to this road now I've got some very extensive history that I need to share with you just on the road that I live there's like this whole thing I'm about to share with you guys that just kind of unveiled itself to us and we're going to investigate like the whole road not just the property that we lived on it's it's a whole nother story for a whole nother time but I just want to throw this out there too because okay so we're going down the road and all of a sudden you hear this loud scream Dean had his window down and you hear this loud scream that even if I tried to imitate I couldn't um it reminded me of what you hear like on the Bigfoot shows or something it was like 
really massive, really loud, and really close, but you couldn't see anything. This is how he's going down the road, and then that's when a big owl just like swooped down and barely missed the truck and kept going, and it was like screaming. And we have all those issues with owls that most of you guys probably know about, but yeah, this is just a crazy story time I wanted to throw out there about the last time we were at the old house and just kind of where I'm at because so much has happened and it's been crazy but I am so much better now that we are away from there so yeah I just wanted to share this little update with you guys because the paranormal story time is one that still leaves me with chills like it's something I don't like to recall it's just I don't know you could just tell it was so negative and that freaks me out in like the worst of ways but I just wanted to let you guys in on what happened and where I'm at now in life and that way when um, let's see today is Saturday so you'll be seeing this on Saturday because I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video because next week will be when everything happens just like it's supposed to everything will be back on schedule because I'm in a new house a new place got so much to share with you guys and I'm just feeling so much better in the long run so thank you guys so much for sticking around and supporting me you'll never know how much each and every one of you mean to me and I love you all very dearly from the very bottom of my heart but again, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys for watching this. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know what you think of what happened to me down in the comments below because I would love to hear your opinions. So again, thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. So always remember, stay humble, stay kind, stay awesome, and I'll see you in my next video.